Doing the littlest of things sometimes can be really challenging, almost to the point where you feel paralyzed. So let's walk together and I'll share with you some ways that you can get unstuck and move forward. Hey friend, welcome back to Grief Questions Answered. My name is Eric and it's my goal with these videos to share everything I've learned about how to survive, find support in the loneliness of grief and how to intentionally get back up and live beyond the loss of a loved one. If this grief tip doesn't help you today, I am confident it can and will help you at some point in the future, so be sure to save this video to watch later on. Today's video comes from Marianne who asked me, why is it so difficult for me to do the littlest of things? And Marianne, I get it. Grief is such a time-stopping event. And when I say time-stopping, I mean time has stopped for us in a lot of ways because our loved one is no longer here, but in a lot of ways life is still going on around us. And if we even have an inkling of trying to do the smallest of tasks, the that make the smallest of steps forward, it can almost feel like our feet are weighed down with cement because we just feel paralyzed. We can't move. We don't know what's going to happen if we do move. There's almost a fear that is deep within us about this thought of even moving forward without our loved one with us. And it's an interesting dynamic that takes place internally with us when we're navigating our grief. You see, when we lose a loved one, our brain tries to protect itself and it tries to protect itself by creating this brain fog, which I call the blur. And it's very challenging because we can't think straight, we can't do very much. Making decisions is almost impossible. Uh, we can't remember things, our memory gets all messed up. There's a lot that's going on there. And by default, we want to be in a place where there isn't any imbalance with our life and grief just doesn't allow for that. Grief is nothing but a massive imbalance of where you were to where you are right now. And so if you're in this place where you feel like the smallest of tasks are so difficult to do, enough to even get you moving forward, then here's what I would invite you to do. And it's this, when you feel like you're stuck, it is to simply stop, take a deep breath, and say to yourself slowly, I have time. I have time. I have time. See, when you do that, you are giving yourself some runway to be able to take the steps as you need to take them. You do not have to take the giant of steps forward. You can take a small step forward with a small goal or something that you want to do and just see how it goes. And if you, and if you need to adjust after that, it's okay to do that. But there's no timeline for how you navigate this. And there is no one right way to navigate your grief except for the one way that works best for you. So Marianne, I hope this helps. And as always, I hope this helps you too who, who are watching this. Do you have a grief question about grief that I can answer for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button down below as this is one of the best ways to get notified of new videos just like this and to show support for the channel. Let's continue to walk together and I'll see you in next week's video.